Hi there, this is Vanessa Ho again and in this short video I'm going to share with you three out of the seven basic customs you should know when dating a mature Vietnamese woman and I'm going to keep repeating this so you, if you are new to my channel you would understand what, I, what do I mean by mature Vietnamese woman those are the women who was born a few years before right on in a few years after Vietnam War because that is a crucial event in Vietnam's history. Okay? But first, how would you like an ongoing supply of free reports, helpful resources and unique cultural insights for meeting, dating and marrying a Vietnamese woman? Too easy. Just take a quick moment to subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll never miss out again. Let me give you a little hint before I go on, okay? So if you're gonna apply the tips that I'm sharing with you on the first date, second date and beyond, you will definitely impress her and her family. However, the later is, is gonna be the main factor in her decision in deciding if she wants to be in a serious relationship with you or not. Okay, so you need to pay attention of what I'm about to share in this video and my next video as well. And note that these, these tips are the basic manners when you are still in a dating phase. During the courtship, I would definitely gonna record more videos that I'm sharing with you what you should be aware of. All right? So if you haven't seen my videos regarding uh, what you should do on your first date or, and how to get the second date and beyond with a mature Vietnamese woman, please go ahead and go back to my channel looking for those videos and watch them first. Then come back here for this one, okay? Here they are. Number one, bring food or a small tiny gift, you know, really simple gift, that's fine too, when visiting her. So if you're gonna pick her up or invite it in, make sure you have a small gift. To avoid any complications, it's bad to bring um, a basket of fruit, you know, a fresh fruit. Because if you are in Vietnam and in a major cities, you know, it's just a piece of cake to look for uh, a street vendor within like 50 feet of you in each direction. As I've been mentioned with uh, my audience, in those um, videos that I'm sharing regarding Vietnam cuisine and uh, you know Vietnamese culture and all that food is a love language in Vietnam and for our culture it's, it's play, it plays a big part of Vietnamese culture giving food or especially or if this is your first time ever and if she has her family members staying with her then it's a way of showing that you are sharing in the abundance of life with them. So they're really gonna appreciate that and they're gonna, um, you're gonna impress them. I, I guarantee you that, okay? And also have a little gift for your lady. Uh, and you know, for your lady, you can give her a bouquet of flowers. That's great too. And she would take it. But then if you give her a fresh, um, a, a basket of fresh fruit, or you know just some type of uh, light dessert something like that then if she has her family members there maybe her kids or maybe her parents or you know any relatives or even if she she's staying with someone you know i mean someone here is like her friends sharing a rooms or something like that okay then it's really really nice of you because that's when she can take the the food into the kitchen and then share it with her other family members or whoever um, stay in the same place with her and um, you know they will give you a good uh, credit about it okay so make sure that you do that so let me just remind real quick if you got invited or gonna pick her up and so make sure you just bring you know just a small fresh fruit basket or a small you know uh, cakes or dessert then that's fine too it's just a politely way uh, to show that you care 
um, and also show that you know about the Vietnamese culture. Okay? Tip number two, do not wear shoes into her house. Before you enter into um, her house, make sure that you ask her, should you take off your shoes? But you know what? Um, for the Vietnamese people, even we live here in the US or in Australia or in Europe or, or doesn't matter where, and even in a tiled house, the Vietnamese people tend, tend to you know, rarely, rarely wear shoes in the house. Instead, we walk around barefoot or in a sandal, especially, you know, they have a sandals, the bare sandals, the, the clean one, in, you know, most likely it's a plastic one, a really simple one that they put right next to their shoe rack, shoes rack. So as soon as you enter, or even before you get into the door, they would have that area there. So, you know, either ask her or here, I'm give you the hint. Just go ahead and take off your shoes, okay? And then ask her if you're gonna walk in barefoot or if not, she would, you know, hand you a, a pair of the sandals that you can wear around the house, okay? So if you wear shoes with uh, socks, then go ahead and take off shoes. Take off your shoes as soon as you enter the house, okay? And uh, just walk around in socks. That's fine too, okay? Because this is just a, um, just a, it's really just an issue of courtesy. Since one of her family or herself has has swept the floor in the morning, because you know in Vietnam, especially in uh, if you live in Vietnam, you will pay attention. If you have friends who are Vietnamese as well, you will see that they you know sweep the floor a couple times a day. Yeah, they do that. Um, and then, of course, you know, here in the U.S. or in the colder countries, we have carpet. That's a different thing. But still, you know, in a carpet, they tend to walk with sandal or walk barefoot. We don't wear shoes because we, uh, we view that you are wear shoes, which means that you bring really dirty stuff into the house. You don't know what you step outside. And especially with uh, Vietnam, you know, in Vietnam, uh, you see, if you already live there, or you, if you have ever visited there, you already seen that there's mud and a lot of raining, and um, and uh, that's why you know, and all the dirty stuff on the street. So that's why our culture, we don't want uh, you to bring anything like bacteria, any dirt, or any you know, um, anything that dirty into the house that they already sweep, and they even mop the floor like. Once a day, you know, I, I, re, I recall my mom does that. My mom does like, my mom asked us to, as soon as we get up in the morning and we need to sweep the floor, okay? And then maybe once every couple of days, then my, um, my mom would ask us to take turn, my brother and sister, we take turn to mop the floor. And then at night, uh, in the evening or so, we're gonna sweep the floor again. So we sweep the floor at least twice a day and then mop it like, mm, depend, maybe once a day or once every couple of days. So um, just, just be aware of that. That's it's just our culture. So, and then um, like I always mention to you that always, always better is always great. Um, it's, re it's gonna be, it's always smart that you always ask your lady first um, because you know these tips that I'm sharing with you mainly is in general and you know it's based on my own experiences as well my friends and the people that I'm interact with who are Vietnamese but then of course you know every house every family have their own uh, guidelines or policies or rules that we need to follow right so the best way is to ask your lady and, but then it's, it's great that you know now because I'm sharing with you so you kind of have the ideas. And then the better way is like ask, asking your lady if you know, is there anything that you need to uh, um, pay attention to, okay? So um, that's where you can avoid any issues that is coming later and all that, okay? So here come number three. And this test probably gonna be um, just a reminder for those of you, if you already watch my uh, my other videos regarding this 
these topics okay that um, please remember remember to greet her parents and older siblings formally yes you you heard me right formally okay because um, I like I said I already mentioned it from my previous videos relating topics so go ahead if you have not watched those go ahead and go back to those and watch it or oh, I'm just not gonna go too deep into um, into that, that that this tip in this uh, as of now okay but uh, you know Vietnamese culture we expect and respect the elders the most I have to say especially for those Vietnamese mature Vietnamese women that you are seeing or you want to uh, have a serious relationship with they are they value their cultures they and the culture they value the the customs uh, I call them uh, and myself as a, a sandwich generation and I definitely will will get another video recording that to explain to you more what do I mean by sandwich generation again okay but just remember that um, with the Vietnamese culture greeting their parents their older siblings formally is very I have to say it's very 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 important because if you're doing this wrong it can be a major setback for you don't greet them by names please don't call them name like we are here okay that's an, that's one thing I want to remind you don't call them name okay you can only call name with the 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 people or the person who's younger than you okay so don't do that <laughs> okay and then also don't give hugs don't hugs you know they're not used to it um, for if you meet the the male you can shake hands then that's fine but other than that don't don't hugs okay especially if you if, uh, if you meet her siblings older siblings and her mom who's a female the woman don't hurt okay stay um, keep the distance that will be the best way that's the will be the best smile though okay don't make it too serious keep a distance smile and greet them formally don't call them name don't hug the woman don't hurt anyone just shake hand is okay if you meet her dad or any of her siblings older sibling or sibling uh, who are um, a man or a male okay so again if you want to go more into details or any questions you know again what do you do as I always uh, I have always remind you reminding you asking your lady okay or just go ahead and watch um, those videos that I am um, share with you that I already recorded and posted in my channel about how to address older Vietnamese people and you you on the right track okay so just follow that and again uh, I'm gonna pause I'm gonna stop here uh, this video here because I don't want to make uh, a too long videos uh, for you so will we'll, uh, you get distracted or um, and you may forget stuff that I'm sharing with you <laughs> okay so I'm gonna share with you the the last four um, basic minutes or uh, I should say that four basic customs that you should know when you interact or when you go and visit your lady in the next video okay so I'm gonna stop right here and once again this is Vanessa Ho and um, Thanks, thanks so much for your time. Thanks so much for watching uh, this video. And if you like and looking forward to more tips or uh, you know interested in Vietnamese culture, dating or marrying uh, mature Vietnamese woman, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have more videos coming. And also, um, the most important thing I would like to is um, that to hear from you. Okay, leave me comments feedbacks or share with me any questions that you have I, I would do my best to respond it to you in my best knowledge okay if not I'm gonna search for it or ask around for it okay so I love seeing you on my next video okay once again thanks so much for your support and I definitely see you on my next video bye for now